With this video, I start the boot review series. And the first, gonna be a pair of drill boots. Come with me and I'm gonna show you the up and downs of these boots. See you inside. These are the drill boots. These belong to the contractor series that's six, six inch tall. And the contractor series has two types of leather. This is rogue smooth and there is another which is rogue smooth with more reddish you can see here in this picture. Let's talk about the company. I have no much data. I try to find data about the company even and, and send an email but I have no much answer in terms of how was the evolution of this company. This company specialized in war boots. 2000, uh, in 1918 was um, how is it? started the operations in Oregon and in 2011, that's the other uh, date I have, was bought by Baker Shoes. They produced war boots, basically, Pacific Northwest style, but has two tiers. One is uh, made in USA, it's MTO, and these are made in Mexico and Leon. Uh, I don't know, some people found this as a problem, but the price range is really attractive. And then you start to think about it, uh, me not being American, uh, where it's really in a downside uh, um, that, or, or negative point that are made in Mexico. These boots are made with hides from USA that were tanning in Mexico, and they use a similar process like the chrome cell. And you can see this, the, the pull out of the leather. Eh? And, and that is something that really, really caught my eyes. The leather itself uh, is very thick for being this kind of boot. These are not leveled as pure work boots or loggers or for firefighters. These are the, um, the addition for wear in the city as a casual boots more than the work boots. Can be used by work boots, but depend on the environment, but are more described in the, in the website as a casual boots. If you're looking for Pacific Northwest casual boots, this could be your, uh, your choice. But let's see why it can be your choice. First, leather-wise, the leather is uh, made this boot is thick leather between 2.5 and 2.8 according to the website. Uh, Rose Anvil uh, in, in his YouTube channel unboxed one of these and uh, find that uh, the thickness of the leather was 2.7. But anyway, let's talk about why, why I, I picked this boot. I was looking for a casual boot, a Pacific Norwell style, then after research, uh, uh, find I, I, I faced four, four brands. It was Nix, Wesco, Whites, Franks, no, sorry, five brands. We, uh, Wesco, Nix, <coughs> Franks, uh, Whites, and uh, Nix. After read all of the, the, the reviews and, and do my research, I picked uh, Nix Woods. But keeping doing my research, I just come across this brand, uh, Drew. And the price point, you know, is uh, far cheaper than the NYX or the Whites or the Wesco. Far cheaper. Then I give it a shot because it looks very interesting. If you can see uh, um, how is are these boots, it looks very, very interesting. And then I decide to try this pair. There are um, three things that attract me uh, to these boots. First one was the price point. 300 uh, pounds, 307 pounds at the time I am. Now I think 309 pounds. In USA it's $380. Second, uh, the, the last 55. I was looking for last 55. And the third is that they come in with, in theory, uh, the insole has been molded to the left if I to make the breaking easy. That's three characteristics that attract me to these boots. Then, 
mm, I decide to put the trigger. Then how I, how I choose these boots? Then uh, when you decide, okay, I want this boot. What is the next step? The size, which is the most difficult thing. My Branox size in UK or USA is uh, 12 US and 11 UK. All my boots, all of them, and 90% of my shoes are uh, 11.5 or US or 10.5 UK. Is are the same size. Then, in the website, they recommend from your brand downsize half a size. And if you wear uh, shoes from your normal shoes, is um, one. 0.5 size down. By example, my trainers are 13 and these are 11.5. My Branock is 12 US and this is 11.5. Then 11.5 was my way to go. Then if you know your Branock, downsize half, half a size. And the width is D, yeah, a normal, the most common width. Uh, there's another thing that is very interesting in this boot. This is a 55 modifier. How is modified? The width is wider than the regular 55. It's 1.8 uh, of inch in each side, which give a lot of room and comfort. Then if you use this as a wear boots or even the other wear boots of uh, Drew has that more space in, in the in the front of the of the boot or in the bam, where it's, uh, and it is true. At the beginning, I feel like it was very loose my my um, toes in this in this boot, but after that, I used to. And then every time I wear my knicks, I feel like uh, uh, compress, but that's not last long until the the, the leather warm up. Uh, for your knowledge, I, I wear boots for a long time. For a long time, due to the condition in my, my feet, in my feet, uh, in my feet, um, uh, prevent me to wear for long term uh, trainers or synthetic materials in my feet, due to the perspiration cause an inflammatory reaction in my skin, what called dermatitis. But anyway, uh, that's made me a lot of experience in boots. I, I wear boots since I have memory. Uh, my first pair of boots was uh, a Chippewa, that was, and my second pair was a Bolberin. That's where my, 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 my beginning in the boots. And then uh, after that I changed for dress boots. But anyway, let's keep talking about these boots. These are the characteristics of, of these boots. Then the last is modified, 55 is wider. The um, interior, the, the molded uh, insole make easy the, the breaking period. And the construction itself is really good. It's all leather, rubber, and that's it. And brass, the hardware. Let's talk about first the, the, the construction of the leather. The toe, by example, in, in the Knicks has elastic. Here is vegetarian leather. Eh? It's, it's amazing. And the counter, the counter is uh, best and leather as well. The shank is best and leather. Uh, if you can see this, I don't know if it's very clear, this picture, because it was a little bit tiny when I download this, this picture about a half, uh, a boot cutting half, and you can see all the that can pack. Uh, the um, insole is very thick, I think it's, um, it's five millimeters or, or so, that's the insole. I, I'm not, I don't want to lie, but it's a thick insole. Uh, now, my experience wearing this, no, let's talk about the construction itself first. What the, the good things, what they say, and the bad things. There is a, a bad thing that could be a turn, turn off for, for some people. Uh, you see the stitching, uh, stitch down, very good, very nice, symmetrical. I don't see any problem with these stitches. And it has three lines of stitch here, four lines here, eh, the construction so far, so good. And the, the pull loop or pull tab is in one piece of backstay. It's one piece, which is it's a good detail. The next is in two pieces. You can see 
here Nix is in two pieces okay there's a brass the tongue is have gasseted for me it's not a problem because it's are more a casual boots for me these are casual boots are not work books and then it's not going to be any problem for me uh, that uh, that is are not 100% gusseted. Some people is, is, is a problem. I understand that. Then uh, all depend what you're looking for. Is but I think for three hundred dollar, three hundred sorry, three hundred uh, pounds, this is really good deal. It's really good deal. I found something a defect here. You can see it's undone the stitch here, here. Is undone the stitch, which is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. I was thinking about it to, to send it back to Drews for exchange or fix this, but because it's a minor thing and it's not going to be put in stress really. Uh, when I send this for um, refurbish uh, or and replace the sole, that can be done by Drew. This uh, I got to ask him for fix this this problem. Uh, in terms of breaking period, breaking period, I won't work wearing this two months for two months. Remember, this is packed full of uh, full full of leather. Uh, the insole, the, look at that. It's very very thick. It's all of this. Yeah? It's all of this. I got my finger here, here, here. It's all of this, hey, the, the, with the arc. There is a really good support of the arc, really good support. The shank is, I told you before, it's leather. Look at the flexibility, it's flexible. The leather is quite, quite pliable for the thickness. Remember, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a person that wear, used to wear boots, then if you come from the trainers, this is gonna be stiff for you, for sure. This is gonna be stiff because uh, this, the trainers are so easy to walk in that this could be even even if you come from red winds to me the red winds are really easy to break in I have no never have a problem a blister or a problem walking or uh, um, plantar fasciitis never have a problem with with the uh, red winds but these are thicker yeah? are thicker the leather and thicker the insole thicker the main sole uh, the mm, the sole is vibrant. Eh? The sole is vibrant. It's 430 mini log. The, the same that I use uh, for red winds. It's very very good. It's grippy. It's grippy. Okay. Never in nice condition. This is gonna be grippy. There is no sole that in nice condition is gonna be grippy. But it's grippy. It's very nice. Uh, and you can see here how this look on me these boots and so far so good if we compare with with the before to show you how uh, how the things are uh, now you see how this fit with me but let's compare with nick uh, nick boots okay nick boots are a little bit longer have more room in the toe which for me is fantastic uh, i always try this uh, with uh, wool socks i always wear thick wool socks with the boots even in uh, uh, summertime, uh, I wear with wool socks. I never have a problem, I never was, unless the temperature is 30 degrees, otherwise I have never have a problem. Uh, I, I buy fantastic wool, foots for, uh, wool uh, socks from Peregrine. But anyway, I mean, see, look at the difference. The difference, eh? the difference. Is very very marked, and if we put the fiber, yeah, these are more slick, more dressy boots. These are go with really more for a night out. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. This for a day uh, going around, and I use uh, in the office sometimes these ones. No, these are the the. The profile of the La 55 is not really for for the office in 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 the way they set the rules there. But anyway, uh, are good boots? Yes, are good boots. It has detail us all. By example, 
the difference between this and this uh, is three hundred dollars, two hundred and uh, yeah, four, five, uh, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, almost, almost two hundred dollars is a lot of money. Uh, the service they're going to provide is really good. They're never going to have a problem, and the breaking is not that bad. For me, it wasn't that bad, but uh, mm, for you, maybe you were. Um, sneakers most of the time I want to um, get into boots uh, this could be a, a big change until you adapt to this uh, if you start if you start in the Pacific Northwest style and start to dig in I think Drew boots must be your first option are enough space for you they don't want to feel tight I don't feel that different with the, with the thick leather that could be could be a problem to for the breaking period is really roomy. Uh, the price uh, range is really affordable. Uh, if you don't like, by example, Grand Stone, Grand Stone are, are around the same price, uh, and you're looking for Pacific Northwest, this is the the, the way to go. Even they are not um, even they are uh, they are not made in uh, in USA, are made in Mexico. But I think are worth it. I, I really think these boots are worth it. I use this because when I received the boots were um, how is this? Were very dry the leather. Then I used the cream and everything sorted. Since then I have no problem. The kilt is okay, the kilt is the same leather. Yeah, the kilt is fantastic. The laces of the leather, two months daily basis, pull out holding really well, holding really, really well. I have no problem whatsoever. That means it's not bad quality. Construction-wise, the only effect is this. Then you need to be aware of uh, nothing is perfect, but you need to be aware of this. Uh, some people could be um, a, um, a turn off uh, situation This because, you know, it's what happened. But it's packed a lot of leather. It's really good construction, are easy to break in, for me, the fact that are roomy, they make that make uh, more easy the breaking. Is in my experience, eh? it is in my experience because uh, you need no need to stretch the leather on the sides and don't rub your pinky. That is very important. And then the only thing is going to be just the flexibility and the uh, adapt to your own, own uh, uh, foot. Okay, this I, what I have uh, to say about these drew boots. I think I'm very happy with this. I think you need to keep an eye on this if you like boots. See you in the next. Bye.